Hello, dear ones. It's Alice the Crime Stopper. In the 1970s, I and co-author Vivo Bennett came up with a book entitled A Thousand and One Ways to Avoid Getting Mugged, Murdered, Robbed, Raped, or Ripped Off. That book is no longer in print, but I continue to give Crime Stopper tips from time to time, and here's one. In recent visits to various Home Depots here in the San Fernando Valley, I intuitively sensed the presence of pickpockets. Some standing solo, staring at bins on a particular aisle for, for a long time, just staring at one bin as if deep in thought. Others were walking from here to there in the various aisles, almost aimlessly it seemed as if they were had no intention to purchase anything. They were just walking from one aisle to the next, slowly. I was carrying a backpack, and as you may know, you have to be very careful with a backpack because it's a favorite ploy of pickpockets to come up behind a person uh, and unzip their backpack and take their wallet or whatever else they may find a value there. So. Whenever someone goes past me and I'm wearing a backpack, I slip the backpack off of one shoulder and around to the one side and hold on to it with my arm crossed over it to make sure nothing like that happens. And I noticed that I was doing that over and over again in Home Depot. I turned around and I noticed that there were an improbable number of people slowly walking towards the back of my backpack while I stood in the aisle looking at the products. And they would be coming from this direction and then the other direction and then the other direction again like that, like a stream of people. And yet I'd run into nothing like that elsewhere in the store, you see. It, it happened whenever I turned around with the backpack and faced the product in the aisle and, and began to figure out what to buy. I came up with the thought there, that there might be a homing system. Someone might notice a prospect or a mark in the store with, that looked like easy pickings and was absorbed in the product and might have a way through their handheld of letting other people know what aisle and where to go to until one of them had managed the, the heist. So I would be very careful in Home Depot. It's a good place to get lost in and dream about home improvements and things like that. But it's also a good place to have your wallet lifted or your purse lifted or your backpack uh, unzipped and, and something missing from it in a New York minute, I feel. I've been thinking it over why it is that I'm running into this difficulty at Home Depot here in the San Fernando Valley, but not at the Lowe's. And uh, at first I thought maybe it had to do with the arrangement of the shelves in their stores because the place where that was happening was a little more secluded from the view of the main cashiers at the front of the store. But then I realized that there's a similar area in the Lowe's, but it, nothing is going on there. And it occurred to me that it could have to do with the fact that day laborers are stationed uh, outside in the parking lot and at the entrance of the parking lot of the Home Depot. And it may also have something to do with the COVID crisis and the level of affluence of people in L.A. right now because that affluence may have been impinged upon a little by the, by the recent COVID crisis. If day laborers are allowed to be in the parking lots of places, your personnel might want to be on the alert for petty thefts taking place within the store. All right, that's all for now. God bless you all. Keep you safe and be with you through all your days.